In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are connected to this program, begin to appreciate him and begin to give him more glory. Thank you for the 11th night of all possibility in year 2020. After this one, if Jesus studies in his coming, we still have no more to go. Give him more glory. Because he knows this we're more than conqueror. Showing him that loves your mind. There were many water passed through under the bridge, especially in this year, 2020. Beloved, thank him. Thank him. Thank him for keeping you and your entire household alive until this moment. If money can do it, some people will still be here now. If the best facility, medical facility can do it, some people will still be around now. Give him more glory. Give him more glory. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. For his mercy that endure forever. For his goodness towards you and your entire house. Beloved, give God the all glory. It is not by accident that you are in this program tonight. Give him all glory. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Give him all glory. Bible says, surely they shall gather. But their gathering is not for you and I. So if they gather, they will surely be scattered. Thank God for scattering. Your enemies and their evil agenda. Thank you for fighting all your battles for you. Thank you, beloved. Thank you. Thank you. Give you more glory. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Sing this song, beloved. Oh, Lua, Oh, 
ba 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 We just want to say, want to say bye bye. 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 We just want to say. Baba o we just want to say 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Congratulate yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Our president, I saw new caterpillars, new one, new one. And I said, Lord, what is this? And the Lord said to me, Lord, those caterpillars are the divine caterpillars. Now, in this program tonight, that mountains, that people never believe can, that can be level. That is going to level. Amen. Amen. I don't know what you're going through, but the Lord said, I sure assure you. But because we are in tonight's program, that what you never believe that can be possible that it will make those things possible in your life. Amen. That those mountains confronting you, that he himself will level all those mountains tonight. Amen. The second thing I saw, and on a good day, they say, we always be going up and down and be moving here and there. But I saw this say without end. And they said it was so calm. No mass, no movement, nothing. And I said, Lord, what is this? And the Lord said, I should test some people in this program. Four of them. Let the say of their life. We receive his own touch. And it will be so calm. Just and the trouble in their life will raise its ugly head no more. Amen. Mm. Mm. Another person, the more you try to open, the more some power are pushing the door and the gate against you. The more you try to force yourself to open the doors, ah, when is this door going to be open? the more they will be closing it. The Lord said, because you're in this program, that that door of goodness we open of its own accord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord said, it will open. It will not open. But those power blocking the door against you, that he himself will remove them. Amen. Amen. Mm. Another thing I said, there's somebody here in this program the world you are not counting as something, the art of it, he will bring out your prosperity. Amen. Uh, you are not counting that thing as anything. No, it's not 
thing to you. But the Lord said, it will bring out your prosperity from it. Mm -hmm. It will bring out your prosperity from it. And the last one, before we move on. Now, person, enemy, we have gathered anxiously waiting for your disgrace and for your shame. Mm. They are waiting for it. But the Lord said, he will use your kiss Amen. to surprise your enemy. Amen. Amen. And they shall bury their head in shame. Amen. 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 They are anxiously waiting for your disgrace. Say, hey, let's see what we have. But the Lord said, He will use your kiss to disgrace them and to bury their head in shame. Amen. 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 That's what my father said. You know, we begin to thank him. Give him more glory. 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 If you know what the Lord has done through all those prayers you have prayed, I believe you will thank him more than this. Beloved, this is not time to sleep, and this is not time to joke with your life. Yeah. This is the last one. The Lord is here. And his power is it. His anointing is available to break our yoke before we leave it tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sing this song before you pray for people and sit down. Ni bobo no My head, my head, you shall not carry evil. You, you shall, shall not carry evil. In the name of Jesus, you shall not carry evil. You shall not carry evil. You shall not carry evil. You shall not You shall not carry evil. You shall not carry You shall not carry evil. 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 You Shall not be used for 
Do something usual. Do something, Do something unusual. unusual in my life. In the name of Jesus. By Do something Do something Do something We thank you for what you are still going to do before we leave here. Father, take our glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray that even before we open our mouth again to pray to you, answer us speedily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every impossibility in our life, in our home, in our marriages, become possible tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, unto you be the glory. Amen. Lord, I pray especially for that your daughter let the power go in about with coughing on his head. Concern that's your daughter. Let the power be buried without coughing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the clear point of it. You that daughter of God, you shall not die before your time. Amen. Amen. You shall not die before your time. Amen. I pray for you that you shall not live for him. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 This is the last slide. In a few minutes time, I'm going to leave this program. Now, I'm believing God on your behalf. Now, even before you leave here, God will meet you at the point of your need in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's open our Bible to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 8. 2 Kings, chapter 8. I will read from verse 1 to, to number 6. From verse number one to verse number six. Second King chapter eight. And he good us. Said, then speak Elisha unto the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise and go thou and there. Second King chapter eight, and the household and sojourn wheresoever thou can sojourn. That is, go now to any way you believe you can live. And stay there. Mm. For the Lord had called for a famine, and it shall also come upon the land seven years. A prophet is talking to a woman now, because the woman has heard uh, uh, this prophet sometimes ago. Because he provided with the prophet, and God used the prophet to perform miracle in our life. And because of this, God is using the mouth of the prophet to tell her what is about to happen. Verse 2. And the woman arose and did after the saying of the man of God. And she went with her household and sojourned in the land of the Philistines seven years. Seven years, seven years. <laughs> Beloved, when you leave your house, leave everything and move out of the town for seven years, do you think you will still meet everything in that? <laughs> Verse three. And, Bible says, and it came to pass at the seven years end that the woman returned out of the land of the Philistine. And she went forth to cry unto the king for her house and for her land. 
It is normal. They will vandalize the house. You can leave the house for seven years and think that you are going to meet the house intact again. Especially when there is vermin in the what? In the land. Because people will be breaking into what? Into people's houses to look for what to eat. It's like if there is a war in city or in town and you're expecting to meet your know, house the way you, you no, no, that's not possible. And verse four. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, tell me, I pray thee, all the great things that Elijah had done. That is all the miracles performed by your master. Come and tell me, I want to, I want to hear some of the miracles. I want to hear. And verse five. And it came to pass, as he was telling the king how he had restored a dead body to life, that behold, the woman whose son he had restored to life cry to the king. It's like they are talking about somebody and the person just appeared from nowhere. Who saw he had restored to life? Cry to the king for her house and for her land. Somebody just returned after seven years. I said, I need my what? My house back. I need my, because some people will be living in the house. Even abroad, even because they made a law before. If you, leave your, if you leave your house empty here, the squatter will take over and you don't chase them out. It is now. And they can live as long as they, they want in that time. Maybe until two, three years ago that they, they propagated the law and said, no, that's no, that's no more possible. Even in central London, where they have good houses, they just travel and the next thing they do, they break into it. Houses are worth millions and they'll be living there, eating food and <laughs> they're sleeping and on, on, on good bed <laughs> and everything. And when you return, and yeah, it happens to a lot of people. You just return, we are, the, we, are your, we, are, we are your friends and we are living here. You two take, take a room. <laughs> and nothing you can do. If they are not ready to go, you can't say, send them out. But this woman returned after seven years. I say, King, I need my house back. I need my land back. And cried to the king for a house and for a land. And Gaza said, My Lord, O king, this is the woman and this is her son whom Elisha is told to life. Verse 6. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed unto her a certain officer, saying, Restore all that was us and all the fruit of the feed since the day that she left the land. Even until now. Can you imagine? They restore a house. And not just that, restore all the fruit of our feet for seven years. Beloved, now we're looking at what I tell you. Lord, arise and restore my divine portion. Lord, arise and restore my divine portion. Beloved, no matter how long you've lost it, no matter how long it has been stolen, no matter how long they have hijacked it, we have God that can restore divine portions. Because that thing belongs to that woman. Even after seven years, if somebody that can be called earthly king could restore something after seven years, why, what are you not going to say about our God? We are talking about God restoring our divine portion. You know what it means to restore? You know the divine portion. Divine portion can be your destiny. It can be your glory. It can be your prosperity. It can be the agenda of God for your life. And some things can happen to, to divine portion. Some things can happen to it. Number one, it can be stolen. It can be lost. It can be seized. They can seize it. Because like the case of this woman, the king can say, okay, all those that, that are not in town and those that have left their house empty, everything belongs to king now and belongs to the land. And that's it, nothing you can do. Divine portion can be hijacked can be ejected. 
divine portion can be transferred, can be transferred to another person. While the woman was away, the king said, okay, you go and be, do what? Be farming on that land. Because we don't, we, we, there's famine, famine in the land and we don't want people to suffer. You go and take that land in order not to, just to leave it there. Come before me there and they will transfer it to another person. But when the woman returned, they did not just re, return a land, they restore the fruit of the land for seven years. If they have not used it to cultivate her, they will not say go and return her a fruit. That means they will be using it while she was what? Yeah. Away. And they did not divide it, they said restore everything. Beloved, I don't know what has happened to your divine portion. But because you're in this program tonight, God will restore everything back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, the divine portion can also be extinguished. It can be seated upon. It can be extinguished and can also be seated upon. Somebody can sit on your divine portion. Some people know what they're supposed to be enjoying, especially in, in Africa. Somebody will just appear from nowhere and say, hey, your father borrowed money. And they, they, they will just go and look for some stupid story and they will sit upon it. And a daughter or a, a son of a rich man will be walking about without anything. Because some people are sitting on what? On what belongs to them. I am praying for you. If there's anybody anywhere sitting on what belongs to you, physically or spiritually, so shall be unseated tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. As a social person shall be unseated this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We are praying on word that the Lord arise and restore my divine pleasure. Beloved, the same whole year they restore everything back. I know if they have tampered with you, with the house of that woman, the king will not just say, go and take it like that. They will have even repair everything. Say, go and put it in what? In order for her. I don't know what has happened to your own divine portion. Maybe they have vandalized it. They have traded with it. I don't know what they have done with it. But I am praying for you. Because you are in this program, they shall return it intact in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be restored intact in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, we want to pray. Amen. That <laughs> six verses of the Bible is saying a lot of things. She left for seven years, but she returned and everything was restored fully back to her. They can give you your house back, but they can tell you, you left it and somebody else stolen the shares, they have stolen the TV. But look at their farm also. They say, not just returning a land, the fruit for seven years. For what? For seven years. And seven is a complete number. Seven is a what? Perfection. The reservoir of it. You know, we want to come pray. Many of us, we don't have our divine portion in our hands now. We don't have those things that belong to us. And I'm begging you, kindly use this night to ask for what belongs to you. Sorry for those that don't understand my language. I will sing and uh, I will try to interpret it the way I can. That's what I say. Bari mi fun mi oluwa wa wo mi se lanu. Bari mi fun mi oluwa wa wo mi se lanu. O pe ti mo ti nbere, o pe ti mo ti nbere lowo re. O to ga o Jesus, oluwa wa wo mi se lanu. Bari mi fun mi oluwa wa wo mi se lanu. That is collect what belongs to me. Collect it back for me. 
and have mercy upon me. It has been known that I have been asking you for what belongs to me. Lord, collect it back and give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. For those of us that we don't understand what I'm saying, they have been asking, collect it and give it back to me. Because it belongs to me. Have mercy. Let's sing it two more times before we pray. Bare me for me, Oluwa wa wo mi she lanu. Bare me for me, Oluwa wa wo mi she lanu. O pe ti mo ti mbere, o pe ti mo ti mbere, lo wa re. O to ga o Jesus, Oluwa wa wo mi she lanu. Lanu kori, bare me for me, Oluwa wa wo mi she lanu. Bare mi fun mi Oluwa wa wo mi se lanu O pe ti mo ti nbere O pe ti mo ti nbere lowo re O to ga o Jesus Oluwa wa wo mi se lanu You will declare loud and pray for yourself See you my divine portion you my, you my divine, divine portion, portion. Where are you? Yeah. Arise and locate me now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you? Look, 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 This morning, in the name of Jesus, please, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. You are still going to pray that prayer. I was telling Pastor, Pastor Felix, three days ago. It was on Monday. God gave somebody to me. In the church, you know, you can have a dream and you not be able to remember everything. I could not remember the transaction. I could not remember everything. But when it was time for that person among us to get his own share, he was telling the man that was distributing the thing. I said, transfer my own money to my account. But when he mentioned the money, it was six point one billion. So transfer my own 6.1 billion into my account. So give the money his own, transfer my own. You know that even if you convert 6.1 billion into pounds, it's a lot of money. You're talking of millions. When I open my eyes, I say, God, when are you going to do this? And I told him again the second day, I saw the church of God. We are giving thousands to all our, all our Children going to school. So you go and use this for your, your admission. Go and use this. Go and use this. And I said, God, what's all this? And the Lord is te- he was telling me, say, these are my plans for my church. How am I saying this? That's to tell you that among us, forget about the numbers now, that we are going to have somebody that will be millionaire in pounds. Amen. Amen. Jesus. And I, you, know, you see, Evil dreams are different from the when it is divine revelation. You will know this is what revelation from God. And I was telling, I said, God, if you this thing, now we need to pray the more. 
that God is about to raise some people in his house for some unusual things, some unusual breakthroughs. And I know you, that sister, you, that brother, that will say the loudest of me, you will be among them in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And I was telling you, these are, these are not just ordinary, them. they are not just other revelation. I even saw the picture of the person that was transferred. I know the person physically, he was the one. Later, I was asking, Why this man? The Lord said, That man, too. It's not a money. That the person transferred the money. It's not part of what's money is a pastor. The Lord said, The, the man supposed to be making people rich. Yeah. That true is his life is supposed to be empowering people, which I've not even informed the, that person. That I saw. But among us, he said, Transfer my own. Transfer my own. And I, when I opened my eyes, I remember the figure of it, it said 6.1 billion. Yeah. Yeah. You are going to decree. How am I saying this, beloved? It is because some of us, we don't have our divine portions in our hands now. It's more than I am hitting, I am walking. Beloved, <laughs> to have 6.1 to have 6.1 billion. It's not, it's not something you can get from job, from that job you are doing. No, 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 no. Even if you work for 2,000 years, and you are collecting, <laughs> you, say that. you are collecting all your money, it can't add, add up to that money. It can't, it can't add up. And you remember I told you that I saw one of us sometimes ago doling out 40,000 as a, as a transport fee for somebody. I mean, I, I do ask questions, Pastor. I say, God, you review something sometimes ago. Are you going, are you, do you still want to do those things? That's me for you. If I don't say, I do ask questions. Say, don't just tell me, go and send people to confirm some things. I want to know. I behave like Gideon. If you have received some revelation, you can still ask God, say, look, bring it back. If, you, if that thing is still intact, even ministry, you can say, God, bring it back. If you still want to do something so that you don't waste your time, maybe they have transferred it. And you are just sitting and say, ah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. No. <laughs> That's, I do. I, so that I will pray. Say God, send some people to. I want to know because I don't want to waste my time. And you are going to pray for yourself again, and you will decree loud and clear. We have some people in the house. Please, we need to pray our seven to this thing. If somebody, if somebody is having million, what will it cause us to? What will it except except you? Except you're a wicked person, that you will know people around you. Yeah. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> except <laughs> you have such a that you will not say now I'm more than them. No, no, except you're wicked. No, no, wicked. You have millions of us. No, but you will have, except you're a very good person. Except you are a very, very wicked person. Which. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Among us in the church, I'm just connected. I know you will still be church of God. Hey, you will declare loud and loud. See, oh God, arise. Oh God, oh God arise. And restore my divine portion. Restore my divine portion. In full. In full. In the middle of the Look at vision 
and uh, trans revelation is this. If somebody give you a negative one, and God reveals something, there is the person that I see something happening in the month of December, and God reveals something that will happen in the month of January. And that one is the best one. I would say, this. God revealed it, I'm not doubting it. But God has done something. Because God has revealed something that is more than what He has revealed to you. When I'm saying this, many of our children, very soon they are going to university. And in that revelation, I saw us giving, they did not borrow, they did not take loan. We're giving them money from the church. You take this thousand, go and pay your school bill. That means go, and they about, some of them is about to go to invest now. That means if we can pray very well, the revelation is not something very far. Uh, that's how to interpret something. If we can pray ourselves into this revelation, they are not something very far. God is about to raise some of us now. Uh, because I saw say, look, you take 10,000, you take, you are giving them money, say, go and pay your school, go and do this. And I said, God, what is it? He said, that is what, I want to use my strength to do. And I don't know how he's going to do it. Don't look at your, you can be saying, yeah, I don't have money, I can't. No. If, you are, if one of us can be paying tight of 100,000 a month, you think it's not possible? It's possible. They are selling a car now, one Jiwaga for one million dollar, just one car. And people are buying it. Is there somebody with two million that will go and buy that? The way you want to the way the way you want to want the one million. This is car that if it goes to some area like Nigeria, that they are, is the one that will be uh, the tire will be pumping itself, the tire will be gauging itself, will be doing everything itself. I'm not saying you should go and buy it. I'm not saying that. <laughs> we need money, whatever. What am I saying? God can bless you. Mm. If we pray this one prayer and get it, is enough. For God to be revealing on this thing, God is preparing some of us and those connected to us. We have some people on this platform now that God is about to change their story. And you are going to pray for yourself again. When the king will restore the portion of that woman, he will restore everything in full. And you are going to pray that prayer again. Say, my father. My father. Arise in your power and your mercy. Arise in your power and your mercy. And restore my divine portion in full. On what day? Me no barati anu re. You die. Me me pada lo di di. Please be. Let's begin to pray, beloved. Please. This 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 I want full. Please talk my divine portion. Please, 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 please
We need to get back. We need to get them back. We need to get them back. Uh, uh, one of us is that you are connected to this program. Uh, they have wasted many of your portion. The Lord said, this next prayer, you should pray it very well. The more you invest, the more they waste it. The Lord said, they are trading with your portion. That is time for you to take what belongs to you. You will declare loud and clear. See, any wicked personality, any, any wicked, wicked personality, any wicked power, any, any wicked, wicked power, trading with my divine portion, trading with my divine portion, no reason, 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 Somebody connected to this program. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you are coming out of the help as God was revealed to me, at least three to four people are supposed to be following you with stuff. And they follow you to help you carry your stuff. Yeah. You are connected to this program. And now they are trying to tie you down. Mm. The Lord said. He himself, not woman, will sort you out. He will spare you that person. You know, we pray again for yourself. If you can pray two, we pray. If you can still pray three, we pray. And we declare that. Say, my father. My father. I must not live a wasted life. I must not live a wasted life. Mm. In your mercy. In your mercy. Restore my divine portion. Restore my divine portion. Oluwa. Mi o godo mi ayela son. Ipi mi oluwa da pada. Ma je nwa ye asan. Aka je nwa ye aye bebe. Eh. Eh. Ah, lo e mi bolo gbe dagba. Na ti de omo mi lodo ti de pada. Ti de pada e nsa wa lo bonga lo bonbe na jaya ja e. Ti wa nbe na. Say, Father, do not allow me to live a wasted life. Do not allow me to live a wasted life. In your message this morning, restore my divine portion. 
Maybe you know what they are stolen from you. Or maybe you know that thing they are using to mesmerize your destiny. I will give you, sorry, I've only borrowed two minutes out of your time. We, by two or five, we leave it. You will go now. If you want to leave, if you want to stand, stand and begin to talk to God. Say, Father, this particular thing must be restored. Begin to pray for yourself. Yay, Kaya World. Yay, Ninu Kapaya, Masupondaya. Ah, ah. Please talk. What belongs to a child shall not be given to dog. Retrieve what belongs to you. In full in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long you have lost it. I don't know how long they've been sitting on it. But in multiple fold, in full, God will restore back your divine portions in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Because you are in this program this morning, I pray for you. You shall not die. Amen. Without maximizing your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. All that belongs to you shall be restored back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Dear friend, at the time you bring to him, he will accept it. Amen. He will multiply it. Amen. And he turn it back to you in billion fold. Amen. You shall not lack any good thing. Amen. The good revelation, the good vision concerning you and every member of your household shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. You shall not suffer. Amen. You shall not pass through anything that is not of God. Amen. God of heaven will protect you. Amen. As this year is running to an end, it shall be well with you. Amen. And it shall be well with your household. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Beloved, begin to thank him. As you put your money in the envelope or you drop it just in the house. Let's listen to the announcement quickly before we share the grace. This is one of the class ministry. We meet for this program every third Friday of the month. This is the 11th one for the year 2020, and the last one will be coming up in the month of December. And God will bless you as you join us in December. Our service still remains the same time. So now we're still meeting for our prayer line. And by His grace, we are going to announce in December we are going to be having your Yoruba one from January, and God will bless us in Jesus' name. People are really talking about your, your river program. That's all we can do. Look, let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to appreciate you for what he has done tonight. And our Sunday service will still come up tomorrow by 9.15. And we are praying that they don't extend their lockdown so that we can resume back in the month of December, and it shall be well in Jesus' name. 
از کنتر روز تنکل از مطمئن دارم شد لباس تنکل لباس تنکیش موایی از دم بلو بیو کلوزر کنتینو پی فوال امینستاس and you have been praying if, if you can't say anything into their lives at least you can be saying prayers i know your time is coming they will be able to give them fat envelope the pastor came this is for you pastor Freddy. this is for you amen uh, it's going to happen don't worry but for now you can still be saying your prayers and god will bless you in jesus name thank you father thank you thank you thank you thank you lord thank you lord Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Well, let's share the grace and fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet value of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, God, goodness and mercy have followed us for all the days of our lives, and we shall be with us of the Lord for one day. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, man. God bless you, man. God bless you too, Pastor. Good night, sir. Sister Dumeru, God bless you. Greetings to praise and Rachel. Greetings to Isaac and his brother too and their mom. Okay, bye for now. Good night, sir. Bye.